so most of us knows how to hide objects in the viewport, but this normal hideout won't give us the result we need in a case where the lighting's still the same as before. Say we have a room scene like this one, and we want to see it from outside with isometrical view, if we would just hit H on the walls, the interior will be burnt out. What we need to do here is select the object we need to hide, go to the object properties, open the visibility tab, and turn off the camera ray visibility. You can of course select many objects again and hold the alt key while turning off the camera checkbox to get them all in one hit, and here you have it, we managed to hide this side of the mesh without affecting the sunlighting inside the room. Now an easier way to get this process done and without going down to the object properties is with the layer section, however to do that make sure to place all the objects you want to hide in the same collection, then from the restriction toggles, enable the indirect only, you should find it last in row, with this option available now on the collection, we can use it to hide the objects and will give us the same result as with the use of the camera ray visibility. Now before we wrap this video, back in the restriction toggles, just before the indirect only, there's another option called holdout, this one works opposite of the indirect one and can be used with 3D masking, so for example if we enable it on the last collection the objects that will go transparent and this can help you add other things in their place, but that's for the VFX dudes so just keep it in mind if you're interested, and that's it, see you guys next time. Stay sharp, goodbye.